Hey, 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 what's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and we got level 10 Kunlun Conundrum free play for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. We're gonna get that stud requirement as well as all of those collectibles, including that opportunity to freely, freely, freely. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and start off right where we always start off at the Avengers Mansion. Now, as we spin around here, which characters you choose doesn't really matter, but we're gonna go ahead and pull up our map, toggle over to the level select and choose number 10, Kunlun Conundrum. Now, if you're in a hurry to get to those collectibles, as Thumby just suggested, we do have some quick links down below in the video description. And if you're new to Happy Thumbs Game, and a little word to the wise, our free play videos are sped up ever so slightly, and we have removed some of the cutscenes. So, ooh, pay attention to that crack. We're going to want to leave that for a little bit, as we have a couple of things to do before we drop down the chute. Now, speaking of waiting, we have to wait until this icon for the autosave goes away. Now, I only suggest that because I had an issue where I collected this first mini kit that's kind of tucked away back there, and although it showed me getting it, I didn't actually get it counted. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is, is that I saw it physically get collected, but it didn't add up to my total. So this next mini kit I grabbed was actually only counting or showing for one. So I had to start all over again. So I'm just putting that out there just because I didn't want the same thing to happen to you. And hey, did you notice over on the right there was a purple and a blue Toozy toozy. Well, you might want to grab those. And, you know, I kind of got caught up here. I thought this was a goo bell, but it's not. It turns out it's just a random old yellow brick. I don't know what it is, really. I guess it is a bell, but it's not gold, is my point. And you don't need to melt it down with the heat ray. So you could have gotten away with just using whoever that uh, was already over there. Like, Spider-Man probably could have got it done. Now, all right, I want to show you something here. I don't know why, when I saw this puzzle and this solution over here, it shows us right there. It's blue, red, green. For some reason, because that red one was kind of above the other two, I thought that was going to indicate that it was first. I, I don't know why I thought that. It, as soon as I got two of them gonged there, it's like, and fail, Brian, try it again. So go ahead and try the real method, which is actually labeled in our trophy achievement guide that Tyler P put together for us. It actually says if you're having trouble with this super simple puzzle, it's actually going to be middle, left, right. And uh, anyhow, so thank you for that, Tyler. We got the collectible and the puzzle solved. So next up, we're actually got a little bit of story bits here. So Thumby's back for another helpful tip. That's, of course, only if you're in a hurry. If you don't know what's going on or you're just simply here for your entertainment purposes, maybe you don't have the game yet or uh, something. I don't know what it is. But uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to a strong character and do a ground pound or butt slam, as we like to call them, and break that crack and watch us fall all the way down. And this is kind of one of those quick time events here. You got to press that X. I'm not sure what happens if you don't press it. I, I didn't really want to find out, but uh, it actually helps us jump over to the next ledge. And then this Spidey comes down and drops a little web, which that web is pretty big considering how small he is. And again, I, I'm not going to question where that spider web came from. But anyhow, as soon as we get down there, rather than climb up that and make our way up to the top, we're actually going to fly off to the left-hand side with any character who can fly. And then we need a character with uh, either long fingernails like the Black Panther or perhaps a sword like Gamora. And we're going to break through those vines. That's right. Uh, these guys had some weird force field body armor stuffs on. And I just gave them a couple butt slams and knocked them off the lower ledge. Oh, well, they came back for more. That's not good. As you can see, though, I'm going to switch on over to Gamora, even though they're back for Mora. <laughs> All right, that wasn't very good. But look at that. Oh, it turns out it's Stanley. We got a chance to freely, freely, freely. And for those of you who don't know, Mr. Stan Lee actually just celebrated his 95th birthday. I couldn't believe it. So one of you guys commented that down below, and I went and looked, and sure enough, he actually really did. So shout out to Stan Lee for creating most of the Marvel Universe. And uh, yeah, and not only that, but for also making it to 95. You know, that's crazy. My grandfather is actually 93, so he's right behind him. But as I already mentioned, uh, he doesn't know who Stan Lee is. You know, those times were a lot different back then. And uh, he didn't ever really get caught up. My grandfather, anyways, didn't really get caught up in the computers and the new age or the digital realm. He's He doesn't even, he still watches VHS tapes. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, he asked me, hey, can you find this movie on VHS? No, Grandpa, they don't make VHS anymore. Anyhow. 
But uh, moving along, we've actually used Ms. Marvel to get oh so small and drop through that small little spider canal there, which actually got us to this lower gazebo. But rather than do what we're supposed to do, we're going to fly off to the front right side towards your screen. And look at this. We found a silver dragon over here that we can destroy with a rocket from Iron Man, which gives us a couple of buildable bricks. And we can build those into a mini kit. Check this out. These guys, I'm not sure what they are. Do we have to melt those off? What, what is the red? Is it electric? I don't even know what that is. I tried to heat ram. I didn't have any luck. I tried to butt slam them. That seemed to work. So butt slam for the win. And hey, you know what that means. We got another helpful tip from Thumby, meaning that there's going to be some story-based elements for the next minute or two. So uh, meanwhile, we're going to go ahead and uh, yeah, we'll do those story-based elements, I guess. We need Ms. Marvel down below. I'm having a heck of a time getting the character selection back down there. Sometimes, that, that's, I guess that's been one of the only real flaws that I've ran into. I know some of you have complained about like loading and things not being there. And, and unfortunately, a lot of you have reported those things have been on the Xbox. So I don't know if there's something different about the versions or if, if that's just purely coincidence or what. But hopefully, you know, everybody's problems will get sorted out soon. But, yeah, I, I definitely have a problem with the character selection. Like when I'm Spider-Man or Iron Man or a character that has multiple phases that requires a couple of buttons. Sometimes even though I'm pressing that character change button a couple of times, it doesn't work. Now, me, I'm running around. I, I don't know why. I thought there was uh, something else going on here that I needed to do. And really, I can see those glowing <laughs> spots over to the left. I need to create a tightrope is what I need to do. And I thought about editing this out, and I probably should have. But I gave myself a little bit of noobness and a little time to talk about nothing. So that worked out, right? Hey, in all fairness, both Thumby and I did recommend you use the quick link, which would have brought you to right here. So if you did, welcome. And we are off and running. We have that tight pants, tight rope that we got across. And now we got to go to the back right over here. It's kind of a funny angle. As you can see, Big Ms. Marvel switching over there. Really, we want a Doctor Strange or somebody with mind control so we can go ahead and take control here. Now, it's kind of a funny angle. You got to get the right angle. And, of course, the icon's popping up telling me I need to press Soikle. So I finally get it. And I get all the way over here, and I'm like, wait a minute, what do I do? But it turns out we have to switch mind control. So we go from one skeleton to the other, and look at that. We manipulated him into the back and got that mini kit for us. Now, I looked down at my list and tried to fly forward, and I got stuck. And he stays stuck there for a while. Like, I'm not sure what happens there. This whole next section is just like my inner noob is at full brightness. I I'm telling you, like, I fall off this ledge a couple of times. I get stuck with Doctor Strange. Oh, but you know what? Speaking of full noobness uh i will totally throw tyler p under the bus and uh yeah that's right tyler i know you're listening you wrote down doctor who for one of the doctor strange things and I, for a minute i was like where's doctor who <laughs> Ah, <laughs> uh, so the joke was kind of on me because I got totally caught up. Like, wait a minute, Doctor Who, he's not part of Marvel, is he? Anyways, uh, so Doctor Strange was officially the guy we needed, and he's also officially stuck back there. But, hey, we've uh, used the grapple plug to go ahead and bring down some checkerboard pieces to fill that checkerboard path. And we pulled that, I don't know what that is, some sort of firework or something that we've slid down the pathway into its prime location. And now we can make our way up this trail, which it wants wants us to go to this weird like dragon thing but we're gonna go all the way back past these fireworks up to this I guess it's a yin and a yang symbol and uh, well it turns out we need to use Doctor Strange again in fact this might even be the one no I'm looking at the guide right now it does say Doctor Strange there and you know what that could have been the last level too or maybe it's the next level it's one of them in the guide though so Anyhow, uh, I just had to give Tyler a bad time, and I probably should have told him personally rather than throwing him under the bus, but it's kind of fun to be under the bus sometimes. Right, Tyler? <laughs> I know I'm there more often than I'd like to be. All right, so you can see there we manipulated time forward, and then we blasted those targets. Now we're going to actually go back in time. That's right. Uh, unfortunately, wh where we're going, we don't need roads. That's right. Thanks to Doctor Strange, we don't need a DeLorean or anything like that. We can manipulate time with a little flick of our wrist. And look at that. We got that mini kit, and we are out of there. So next up, we got to return back to the story elements here. As you can see, we need Iron Fist and his chi ability to go ahead and I, I guess the dragon needs some fresh breath or something i don't know what we're doing here but we're gonna go ahead and pump 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 it up with that meter we're using our chi and it actually reflects some light and uh oh uh oh those fireworks are probably gonna go boom that's all right though uh, not to put a date on this video, but last night was New Year's, New Year's, New Year's Eve, and uh, I guess it was yours if you were celebrating. 
But uh, we had lots of fireworks going on all around us. It was kind of like uh, a Fourth of July celebration. Like, seriously, we had lots of big boomers up in the sky. It was crazy. Uh, but anyhow, fireworks are gone. We've got some buildable bricks. We build them up into this push switch, so we spin it around, and it actually stops us right where we need to be. And that light is shining brightly down below. But we have some more pieces we need to find and put together to complete this. That's right. It completes us. Now, once we get that, it's actually going to shine the light and open the door on the far right. Now, what's Dr. Strange doing there, too? Both of our Stranges are being strange. You see what I'm saying? Like, that is so weird. But anyhow, all right. So in this gazebo on the far right, you can see there are some uh, some push lever bricks up inside. Now, I, I think I eventually get out. Yep, I managed to weasel out this Dr. Strange. And I come all the way back over here. And for whatever reason, he seems to be the one of the better guys of targeting these bricks. I couldn't get him at first. Like, watch. Look, I'm... It's definitely a funny angle. Uh, so come to the front side of the gazebo. Once you do, you should see this, the stuff start to glow. Haha, <laughs> that rhymed. I didn't even mean to. And we'll go ahead and put those back together and push that switch all the way around until that light reflects on that door on the right. Then we'll go ahead and make our way in there. And that's actually going to take us into area two, which is where all of the collectibles are. So, woohoo. All right. Oh, look at that. I don't know why. Every time those bats come out, I, I just think, Scooby, Scooby Doo, where are you? You know what I mean? Like, it just reminds me of the beginning of Scooby-Doo, all the bats come flying out. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you're not old enough for that. Oh, dragons! All right, so this is pretty awesome. We got Steel Serpent here, and we're just going to totally ignore him, at least for right now. And it turns out there are five little eggs scattered throughout, and there are two on the left and two on the right. And then there's kind of like this secret path that comes towards the front of the screen, and we'll show you where that is here in a second. So we got the front, the first two on the left. We'll go ahead and get the next two on the right. Or I guess if you're Tyler or Doug, we got the first two on the right, now we're on the left. <laughs> those two always seem to get those backwards. It's so ironic too that like, they don't even know each other, but they both have the same guide riding habits. It's kind of funny. All right, uh, maybe it's me. Maybe, maybe something that I do makes their, their wording backwards. Anyhow, uh, there it is. There's that final one that I told you about. See this little pathway? There is some more action happening on that as well, but we're going to go ahead and pay attention over on the right because we have Dr. Strange out. We need him to manipulate this, like, I, I guess it's a backpack? It's kind of what it looks like. It's either that or a, an old-fashioned box of cereal or something, but once it opens up, we actually get some buildable bricks we can totally manipulate into a gravity booster, which now we're going to need the help of Peter Quill, a.k.a. Star-Lord, and look at that. It's funny. I tried to switch away from Doctor Strange, and I switched to Doctor Strange. How strange. Hmm? All right, all right. I'll try to settle down on those puns. As Reese always says, I'm not punny. All right, we got Peter Quill out, a.k.a. Star-Lord. He's going to go ahead and suck that cage in like a truck bean. And look at that, we've got that character token for Colleen Wing. Thank you very much. All right, next up, we're going to go ahead and fly all the way down this path. Kind of like we're leaving the area, like we're so, so scared, like we're running from, from the danger. But uh, as it turns out, we're actually just going to go collect another mini kit. Turns out there's one all the way at the end. Look at that. So we got eight of the ten. That means there's only two left. We're going to go ahead and grab both of those right now before getting into the final battle. <laughs> You know, I haven't been singing very much. I know some of you guys really appreciate my singing, while others immediately hit mute as soon as I start singing. That's the glories. It's the best of both worlds. So I can sing for my people who appreciate the singing, and the people who don't like it can mute it. I guess it all works out. But uh, all right, back left corner, we've got a little fire we need to put out. So we'll go ahead and pull out Captain America and gets to stamping with his shield. And that leaves a few bricks behind, and we can build those up into number nine. That worked out rather nicely. All right, next up, last but not least, I guess, on the right-hand side, we've got this pile of bones. Them bones, them bones, them skeleton bones. Go ahead and do a butt slam on them, which is going to reveal a pile of stinky bits. We'll go ahead and dig them up to see what's there, but not before doing a crazy, like, suplex WWF maneuver there. That was insane in the membrane. And look at that. We've gone ahead and dug up this ghoul chest. Now, it actually required Iron Fist. It showed that character, but it turns out Iron Fist can melt gold, too. I, I didn't know that, to be honest with you. I thought his chi was a little different than heat, but uh, apparently he brings the heat, too. So look at that. All 10 mini kits are officially ours. We did freely, and we got the character token for Colleen Wing as well. So pat yourselves on the back if you followed along, because we have officially completed this level. All we have to do is take out the boss or use the save and quit option. And that will go ahead and save all the collectibles you've gathered and take you to the final total screen. Now, do by popular... Wait, wait. 
Due by popular demand? That doesn't even make sense. Uh, due to popular demand. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. We have continuously asked you guys over the LEGO games and over the years if you prefer us to just kind of fade out to the final totals here or if you like to see the final boss battles. And, you know, there's not always a ton of comments that come in for that, but ironically, most of them are for finishing the level out. So, uh, although we do have the story videos available uh, for you guys to go ahead and watch and figure out how to beat these bosses, uh, apparently the preference is that we beat the boss again. So, uh, that being said, we're going to go ahead and do that now. He's got these crazy fiery tornadoes he throws at us. Not very cool. It is the rule of three. We've got to knock that health meter down to a certain spot, and he'll throw this fireball at us. We've got to avoid it for a little bit. He sends a few baddies after us, including himself. We'll go ahead and give him the old pow right in the kissa. Now, I chose Thor because I feel like Thor is a little stronger than most characters. Now, I still have no idea. I would love to know if some characters can do more damage than others. Like, like do rocket raccoons, uh, grenades do more or less damage than Iron Man's rockets? Or are they the same? You know, does Thor have the same, you know, ground pound or butt slam ability as Hulk? Or is Hulk's bigger? You know, I mean, that, that those are things that I would love to know because these boss battles seem to take forever. And if I could shave a little bit of time off these, knowing that so far, you guys have seemed to kind of vote for keeping these around. Uh, you know, it would be nice to have them go faster. And, you know, some of you probably say, well, why don't you speed the video up faster? There's always that option, too. But anyhow, we, uh, we like, sometimes the, when we speed up the videos really fast, it really kind of freaks people out. If you go back and watch, like, our Lego Batman 2 videos, like the first Batman game we ever did. See, we were really into trophy achievement videos at that point. We weren't really into collectibles. And, you know, so we were kind of learning and trying to figure out our formula. And some of those videos were like 45 minutes long and going from a two to four minute video for a trophy achievement showing you how to do that to a 45 minute. That was crazy. So I sped things up and it really scared a lot of people. I'm sure I, I lost a, a, a whole bunch of potential subscribers as a result of that. So I try to keep it, you know, pretty calm. But at the same time, it's ever so slightly sped up. So, oh, and look at that. As I have been flapping my yapper, I have depleted that meter almost all the way to the end and hey a uh, little quick note there if you haven't checked us out on patreon.com you should probably do that uh you it's your way to support us the creator firsthand and gives you some behind the scenes access access to a facebook page if you like i've got a secret group that has some extra giveaways and stuff but only a couple people have even opted in who are patreon supporters so maybe they just don't know i don't know anyhow we've got this boss battle all the way down and guess what level 10 kun Un Lun, I guess I said that wrong. Kun Lun Conundrum Free Play is officially complete. As you guys already know, we got that first gold brick for completing the story. The second one will be tallied up for getting that true believer stud requirement. And speaking of studage, holy cannoli, we are getting up there. We are almost have that 50 million, which we can go ahead and purchase that next pink brick stud multiplier. And, oh, we got 10 more mini kits put together for the Iron Fist comic book, which we'll take to Gwenpool at some point and cash. I guess it's not Gwenpool this time, huh? We got to take it to the trophy room. Keep forgetting that. Anyhow, we freely, freely, freely. And we also freed Colin. Colleen, Colleen, Colleen. <laughs> so we got both of them, and guess what? That's going to wrap it up again for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes Level 10 Kun Lun Conundrum Free Play. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, if you haven't already, please check us out on social media. We also have a Thumby Must See video. And if you're into trophy achievement guides, we've got plenty over at happythumbsgaming.com, as well as other videos and stuff, too. Uh, don't mind the dust, though. It's been a while since we've cleaned up. So, anyhow, that's going to do it for me. As always, until next time. Sorry.